Hello, welcome to restaurant management system. As a restaurant owner, you know that you can be more successful if you can provide better experience for your customers and gain greater controls on your costs and profits. Our system will help you to manage both. This software not only manages table orders but also handles the inventory part at warehouse and kitchen very efficiently. Deep linkages with accounts will control invoicing, creditors, debtors and expense etc. Let us log into the system and see the functionality in detail. So this is a home screen where you can see the various modules that have been incorporated for this particular software like sales, purchase, warehouse, manufacturing, restaurant management, accounting, POS. This software offers two types of table ordering methods. One is a traditional table order method and the another is the table orders with the help of POS system. We will move to restaurant management system and see what are all the functionalities we have incorporated so far in this system. As soon as you click on restaurant management menu, you will have a screen having their respective menu and sub menu. To start with a configuration menu, you can have a list of tables to be defined first for each shop. For example, I have it created around 10 different tables for a particular restaurant. You can see a list of tables like table 1 for restaurant 2 with the capacity 4 and the current availability status is available. You can create your own tables with their respective capacities. In the next menu of food item, user can create their food items that are going to serve in their restaurants. Uh, we have created some of the data like bisleri mineral water, kinle mineral water, tomato soup, mushroom soup, palak paneer and paneer butter masala are some of the items which are going to serve in our restaurant. Let's go to one of the item and see what are uh, the details we have captured in this particular menu. Uh, this is mushroom soup which is in category of soup. It also includes the POS category uh, under which uh, this particular product will be shown. What is the product type whether it is consumable one, stockable one or the service you can select from the drop down menu. Procurement method will talk about whether it is a make to stock or make to order. Similarly, you can have your own unit of measurement to define this particular product. Shop field has been given over here to create a shop specific products. For example, I may have mushroom soup available in one of my restaurant or one of my shop only. So I can define the name of it. If the shop name is blank, the system will treat that particular product as a global one and that will be available for ordering at any shop. In procurement tab, you have the supply method whether it is of produce nature or by nature. You can define the sale price and the cost price for the respective product as well. These are the small configurations that we need to do initially which can be used in a transaction forms. Now let us move to the restaurant menu where the actual transactions are going to happen. You can see there are sub menus like table booking, orders, table orders and KOT. Let me explain the significance of each of this form so that uh, we can understand the functionality. The table booking form is basically used for booking a particular table in for a future date. In day to day practice we may book a table say uh, three days later on a particular time. So this particular form will maintain the future date reservation for a particular table. 
for example i have created one uh, table booking for the 10th of december on the name of remo who has booked uh, table 1 and the tentative order what he had given to the hotel is bisleri water bottle tomato soup and paneer butter masala table order menu will contain the list of all current table orders which are rightly executing in our restaurant you can see the similar form is available over here now let us understand the functionality of this particular form i create one table order over here by clicking on create button this will generate a blank order form for me system will by default bring today's date and time on a date field user need to select for which shop this order is being placed what would be the price list uh, for any customer if uh, you do not have a specific customer you can select a walk in customer on which the invoice will be generated similarly you can have a list of waiters who is going to attend this particular order entry now you sorry as soon as you click on add button uh, you will have a list of tables available for that restaurant so suppose i select one of the table that is table 5 and the and just click on the order list create button so this will allow me to enter multiple products as per the requirement of customer so i just select one uh, say bisleri water bottles i want in two quantities uh, again i may order say tomato soup two quantities that's it now before proceeding further we need to confirm this order once the order is been confirmed the the buttons are changed to either to cancel the order or generate kot so once you generate kot for this particular order you can see a message that kot 2 has been created now let us move to kot part where you can have a list of kots generated so far and that are in running or in done state so this is what the list of kot generated over here this was the kot to kot number 2 uh, having a reference of table order 2 now this portion will be handled by head of the kitchen who will uh, monitor that which kot are completed and which are on pending basis so here there is a button process which will change the state of that particular kot from draft in process state and once the kot is done now the finished products that are available in the kot are now ready to serve to the customer in table order form you can now process that particular table order for a done state or to create invoice so this was our table order table order number 2 and now since the product is already available in my stock now i can cre create an invoice to the customer so as soon as i create a invoice system will will perform two different activities one creating a customer invoice similarly it will also process the delivery orders which uh, items what i have selected in this particular order list you can see at the top uh, you can have a delivery order number 2 just click on it it is converted to done state that is how uh, the uh, stock is being maintained in this particular system at any point of time you can see the what is the quantity in hand and the quantity available for each of the product now uh, let us see the another part of uh, table order that is uh, the table order with pos for pos we have two different modules one is pos backend and another is the P point of sale the pos backend comprise of the configurations that are required to execute point of sale screen 
However, the point of sales module will have a, a user interface from which user can create uh, table orders. To start with, in POS backend, you will have uh, daily operations, cash register management, products, reporting, and configuration part. In POS orders, you can have a list of POS orders created so far in the system. In cash management, uh, cash register management, you can have a list of cash registers which have been opened or have been closed so far. Similarly, the post sale entries will help you to post all sale entries created by point of sale in accounts. In products, you can define your own POS categories as we have defined some of the categories like soup, vegetable, mineral water and the products of course uh, you think that need to be shown on POS screen. So let us move to point of sale screen now. So as soon as you click on point of sale, this is a first screen which you visit uh, where you need to select shop for which shop you are going to create this particular order. You may have multiple shops, multiple restaurants. So in that case, you need to select for which restaurant you are going to create this order. So I am just selecting it. Once I select a particular shop, it will the system will ask user to select the table for which he, uh, he is supposed to create an order. So let us say I select table two and click on OK. So once I click on OK, all the products which I am serving in, through my restaurants are now visible to me for creating an order. So I just create one order which comprise of one bisleri mineral water, one kinle mineral water and one mushroom soup. So at the top you can have a list of um, table orders as you can see the table order 2 is right now uh, in progress or you may say the table order for table 2 is in progress. Similarly once I click on plus button the system will again ask me for selecting a table. By this you can manage multiple table orders at a time. And you can see since the table 2 is already been engaged now it is not available in this list. So uh, at any point of time you can have only one order for a particular table. So I'm, I select now table 1 and, uh, and click OK where I may ask for say two tomato soups. Now for each of table I can create a KOT. So it will generate a message that KOT for table 2 has been generated. Similarly for table 1 also I can create a KOT for that matter and click on OK. So all these KOTs will be listed in the regular part of restaurant management. Now once it has been done you are ready to create an invoice for say table 2. Now once I click on it system will generate invoice for a particular table on validation it will convert it uh, to a POS order and if I say a next order system will move to the next order again uh, if I click on plus it, now the table 2 is again available over here and 1 is not since it is already been engaged so in this way uh, you can you can manage multiple table orders at a time so I'll just uh, take a payment for selected tables right now. For table 6 as well, I have validated. Uh, in POS backend, you can have a list of uh, POS orders created uh, through a point of sale screen. For You can see a list of orders. Just now we have created 3 orders and all are in paid state. Similarly, you can post your sale entries uh, in accounts module through this particular menu. You just need to click on generate entries. This will create uh, journal entries in accounting module. So in accounts, you can have a list of all POS order sale entries. You can see the unposted entries at the top which are uh, generated from POS orders. 
this is how the restaurant management system works which will handle efficiently your invoicing part your table orders and your inventory as well thank you